What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks for tuning in to the Gamers Rebirth DL channel. Now, I know you guys have a lot of questions regarding adrenaline. I gotta say, there is amazing stuff going on. Sometimes it's just so hard to keep up. Now, I also want to give thanks to all those that respond to others' comments. That's pretty cool, helping each other. I really like that. Thanks every everyone for doing this. So now let's get to the cool stuff. Let's begin with uh, showing you guys how to transfer ISOs or CSOs to the PlayStation Vita. We're going to be using the FileZilla FTP software. So what we will do, we will access UXO. Then we will go to PSP EMU or EMU. And then we're going to create a folder in here named ISO. And this is where you're going to drop your PSP ISO CSO format games. Now, if you don't have the folder, then just you can just create it in here. Uh, it's really simple. You can also create it with the PlayStation Vita. So the flow right away saw that Adrenaline was not capable of running uh, PSP minis uh, with the PS PSP emulator. You guys saw my previous video that I wasn't able to launch it. I was getting an error. So now he updated Adrenaline so that it can be capable of running the PSP emulator on the PSP mini games. So that's pretty cool. I want to show you how to change your game ID in the config text. And you might say, why? Why would I change a game uh, from a PSP to a mini? Well, for an example, I was using Killzone Liberation, but that game is like around 510 megabytes. Uh, whereas Alien Zombie Death, the PSP mini, it's only eight megabytes. Now that, it's a big difference and saves major space for other games. So uh, that's why I would recommend you, if you have a smaller game, then you can go ahead and change that uh, game ID so that you can get more space for your other games. So now we're gonna bring up the config.txt. Now don't worry, I uh, will go ahead and uh, put the link also in the description. So just follow what I do on the screen and then you should be fine. So my game, uh, the Alien Zombie Death, uh, the game ID is NPUZ0069. So now what I will do, I will either write it down on the config text or I will just go ahead and copy it like you're seeing right now. And then I'm just going to paste it in the config text file. Now note also if uh, your ID uh, will probably be different because you're probably using a different game. Depending on the game that you're using, it will be pretty different. We'll go ahead and check on the PlayStation Vita to see how we can determine which game corresponds to your uh, which game ID corresponds to you or which game so we'll go ahead and check that out also now that I have uh, pasted the game ID where we want to and we will need to save the config text so that the changes can be made now that we have pasted the game ID in the config text and we have saved the file we will need to uh, go to the type folder and drop the config text there. Since I have the old one, I would just go ahead and drag it and override it. So as you can see, I'm going just overriding that information. Really simple. Now that we have updated that information in the type folder, we will go and update at the adrenaline files. Now the link for the source, of course, Wololo will be in the description as well so now go to PSP EMU then open adrenaline folder as you can see I already have downloaded that file and the file should read adrenaline fix 2 after you open the zip file uh, highlight or copy the two files that are in the PS Vita uh, that are in the uh, zip into the PS Vita after that we're almost done So I just wanted to show you also right now, uh, real quick, how to transfer a PSP game. I know I got a lot of questions on that. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, since you already created this folder, uh, find your files and then just drag it real quick. Of course, now we're going to go to UXO, PSP EMU, and then select the ISO folder and drag 
the file. You probably have to wait depending on the size of the game. If it's a, a small game, then it shouldn't be that long. If it's like a one gig or two gig game, then it can take like around 30 to maybe 40 minutes to transfer, depending on your internet also. Now that we have completed all we needed with the computer, we will move on and looking at the PlayStation Vita and how uh, to verify if everything's correct. Now as you can see, my ISO has been transferred. But now let's go ahead and see. I want to show you guys this on how to get your game ID. It's pretty cool. So it's something that um, it'll help you a lot if you want to change your game ID on the config text in the future. So go to UXO, PSP, EMU. Then we'll go ahead and select PSP. Then we'll go ahead and go to game. Now, if you have like a lot of PSP games, uh, then you probably will have like a lot of folders with numbers and maybe letters. So select uh, one of the folders. As you can see, I'm selecting one and select the SCE underscore eboot PBP. And then when you select that file, it will give you the name of the game. So if you, you don't know what game it is, and I know it's kind of confusing, select that and it'll give you the title of the game. So as you can see, I'm checking for the other game as well. I'm checking the name of the game. You can see one is Killzone and the other one is Alien uh, Zombie Force, I think. I forget the name of the game, but that's pretty cool, a pretty neat trick. Now let's go ahead and check in the type folder to see if the game ID that you want and that we copied previously in the computer matches. So as you can see, it does match. If you remember, um, it's the same number. Now we, once we have checked all that information, let's go ahead and launch the game. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> you have to reboot your device before so that we can go ahead and make all those changes. So launch molecular shell, press start and select reboot. After the reboot has finished, uh, the, the PSP has been starting. Now uh, we got to remember to reinstall Tai Henkaku or Henkaku. So go to Molecular Shell and select the beautiful orange install button. We love that button, right? So it will direct you automatically to the um, Henkaku page or Bida Henkaku page. So now we let it do its work by itself. We don't touch it. Now, once you get those green letters, bingo, we got Hankaku installed. Um, that means it was installed successfully, so you're good. Now, you might get an error message after that or a black screen like I did. I was like freaking out for a bit, um, but do not worry. It's okay. Hankaku is already installed. Just close the page. As long as you get those green letters, we're good. So now to double check if everything was installed, we can launch, launch Vita Shell really quick, just to double check. So as we can see, Vita Shell is working. So now I gotta say goodbye to Killzone. Get it? You got literally killed by a mini. <laughs> That's funny. So launch your PSP mini or lower size game. And voila, magic from the wizard, the flow, will go ahead and happen on your console, PlayStation Vita which I think has become the best console that has been made. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. I'll try to get to them. Um, hit like, comment, and enjoy gamers. So gamers rebirth out.